Hungarian cuisine is beloved for being rich, creamy, and heavy on the meat and paprika. But no meal is complete without a perfect dessert. And in Budapest, there's a spectacular array of pastries that you can try. Pastries represent the good life, and with our coffee culture thriving, pastry art is also flourishing. So in this video, I will present to you the most delicious Hungarian desserts that you must try in Budapest. In Budapest, you'll have to visit a dedicated pastry shop. We call it Cukrazda in Hungarian. That is where you can try these local cakes. Restaurants and bakeries are not the place to go. They will not serve it. So once again, visit the Tsukras does. Each neighborhood boasts at least a couple of these wonderful pastry shops where you can try the delicious desserts that I will present to you now. Let us first deal with the one that you literally see on every street corner in downtown Budapest. The so-called chimney cake or Kürtős Kalács in Hungarian. It is originally from Transylvania. It is a donut-like dough rolled up and covered with different toppings such as chocolate, sugar, ground walnut, coconut or cinnamon. We Hungarians would only eat Kürtős Kalács during festivals or maybe at a Christmas market. So all these kiosks in Budapest that are trying to sell you the chimney cake nowadays even filled with Nutella or ice cream are typically aimed only at tourists. We would not be seen eating it regularly. I just thought I'd let you know. Zserbo is a bite-sized cake, which has a shiny chocolate glaze on top and under it layers of sweet filling made from ground walnuts and apricot jam. It is named after its inventor, Emile Zserbo, the famous French confectioner who lived and worked in Hungary and who originally owned the Zserbo Café still operating in the city center of Budapest. Zserbo has become a Christmas tradition in most Hungarian households, not only because it is so delicious, but because it lasts for a long time. Actually, instead of drying out, the pastry gets softer over time. Dobostorta is an elegant yet simple cake that captivates every Hungarian. Dobos is basically several layers of sponge cake and between them a buttery cocoa cream and on top of it a hard caramelized sugar. Oh, just a fun fact. Dobos means drum-like in Hungarian. But the cake is not named after its solid drum-like caramel topping, but after its inventor, Jozsef C. Dobos. Anyway, it's a popular cake that all Hungarians like and is surely the highlight of every wedding and family gathering. Krimes is not originally from Hungary, presumably it's French, but we have transformed this recipe into two layers of crispy sheets of pastry between which you will find usually 8 cm tall vanilla custard. Try it out for yourself whenever you are in Budapest. Every pastry shop serves Krimes. Flodni is traditionally a Jewish cake prepared for the Hanukkah menu, but nowadays many Hungarian households prepare it all year long. It's a very thick, sweet dessert that consists of five different layers of dough and filled with apple, sweetened puppy seeds, plum jam and walnuts. I warn you, Flodni is very addictive. It's so delicious that you simply will not be able to stop eating it. The so-called Esterhazy tort comes with vanilla cream that is sandwiched between layers of walnut-infused sponge cake and is topped with a thin layer of fondant. It is named after a prominent Hungarian royal family and was extremely popular during the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. We Hungarians still love it and is actually my personal favorite. Of course you can get apple strudels in Vienna, right? Well, in Budapest, you can get it in a wide variety of fillings, both sweet and salty. You can try it with cottage cheese, puppy seeds, or even filled with cabbage. Try it out. Delicious. Rákóczi Túrós 
which is named after its inventor, Janos Rákóczi, who first published this recipe in the 1930s, has a layer of short crust that is topped with sweet curd cheese and is often filled with apricot jam between each section. I personally don't like it because it's not sweet enough for me, but it's still extremely popular in Hungary. Try it out. Somlói Galuska is a rum-soaked sponge cake packed with vanilla custard, chocolate cream, and whipped cream, and on top of it, a sprinkling of walnuts and raisins. Almost no Hungarian can say no to Somlói Galuska, which is one of the most mysterious desserts of our nation, although it's a relatively recent invention dating back only to the 1950s. It is actually one of the few desserts that you can not only buy in pastry shops, but many restaurants also serve it. The so-called Rigoyanchi is a cube-shaped sponge cake that has an intense aroma of chocolate and it comes with mousse and glazing. And beware, the filling may include a touch of rum, not just vanilla. It's delicious and has become a classic, but nowadays not all pastry shops serve it. A Linzer and Ischler cookies are originally an Austrian invention named after the famous spa town of Bad Ischl. They are typically served during an afternoon tea and the main difference between the two is the chocolate glaze that blankets the Ischler cookie. Poppy seed is very often used as an ingredient in the Hungarian cuisine, which might be a surprise to you. Many of our desserts are made with poppy seed, including this famous Mákos Kuma, which was already featured in the first Hungarian cookbook over 300 years ago. It is our favorite typically in wintertime, around Christmas, either as a dessert or actually as a standout meal. The famous Hungarian Polacinta is usually translated as pancake. However, it's much thinner than the American version and resembles more the French Crap. It can be filled with basically anything, such as sweet cottage cheese, jam, sweetened cocoa, vanilla, or chocolate pudding. As far as I can remember, pancakes are the favorites of every Hungarian child. So anytime I want to bring back the careless days of my youth, I just eat palacinta. And finally, Turo Rudi which is not a traditional dessert in the sense that it is not baked or cooked at home or in pastry shops, but it is a bar of farmer's cheese that is covered in chocolate glaze that you can buy in its famous dotted package, basically in every store in Budapest. Try it out and act like a real local. Eat Turo Rudi. Hungarian pastries today reflect many influences from the Italian bakers, to the Turkish desserts, to Western European cake-making techniques, and of course, our neighboring Austria. In this video, I tried to present to you the most delicious and authentic Hungarian desserts that you must try. Remember, you must visit one of a dedicated pastry shop or Cukrazda during your trip to Budapest. I hope you will enjoy it as much as you like this video, and please subscribe to keep me going. Thank you.